All right, I'm here with Grant Enfinger. We are just about 30 minutes away from first truck practice here at Richmond. And I want to start with this because you got your first ever win in the trucks with GMS back in 2016. And then you went to Thor Sport for a few years. You had that year in 2021 where you were back and forth with Thor Sport and the Nine. But this year you're back with GMS. So how cool is it to be reunited with these guys? Yes, yeah, definitely felt like I was coming back home, you know, and, and even when I started going over to the shop a couple weeks after the season ended last year, you know, just kind of felt like home and just uh, so much effort has been put on this deal. It's uh, it's pretty cool as far as a race car driver. You always, you know, you, you want to be in the best seat in the garage and, you, you know, you, you want to have the effort behind you. You want to be with a, you know, a, a well-established organization like GMS Racing. So, man, I've, I've got everything I ever wanted here. So it's uh, it's been great. And you came so close to a title in 2020, and 2021 you split the season between the 9 and the 98, but still getting your trademark consistent results, so it's got to be a sense of comfort being back in that full-time ride. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty disheartening to, to beat the park down, you know, last year, so um, obviously full-time and racing for a championship is, is you know, where, where we want to be, and, um, you know, blessed to have that opportunity this year, you know, we, um, we, we didn't have... The, the regular season that we really wanted we had some you know some intermittent spurts of, of good runs and, and solid top five trucks and all but we, we just didn't have race contending speed and um you know so so felt good last week obviously um not only getting the win at IRP but but just being a contender being up there leading laps so um I think I think we got the opportunity to to, to make a big push in the playoffs well that goes perfectly into my next question you, you're winless all season long Boom, first race of the playoffs, you win, you lock yourself in, you can kind of take it easy the next two races, but how gratifying was that for you guys? Um, it, it was probably more of a sense of relief than anything, because when you are with a you know organization like GMS Racing, you know, it's not like, oh, we want you to win, it'd be great if you win. No, the expectations are for you to win, and um, we, we have the organization behind us, we have the team behind us, we have the support from Chevrolet, so we have all that you can ask for. Um, so it's good to, to, to finally do it and get it done. And then obviously there's there's joy that comes after that and there's, you know, there, there's motivation and, and there's momentum that, that you build and confidence with the guys. So I think um, overall it's a, maybe we're, we're picking a good time to peak. And I know you told me after Darlington on Pit Road, you, know, you guys are kind of finally settling into a groove. Some good runs in that mid-season stretch and then a couple of finishes no you guys didn't want, but 11th at Ohio and then the win at IRP. What's your perspective on these next rounds of the playoffs? Um, for us this week, you know, Richmond is a place that, that we I will be disappointed if we're not contending here tonight. You know, this is a place that kind of fits my driving style. It's uh, you know, it's a, it's a short track myself and, and Hensley have, have had proven success at the short tracks. Um, I, I'll be disappointed if we're not kind of contending tonight. Kansas, you know, our, I feel like our intermediate program has been a little bit off this year. I think we've we've had some moments where we've you know, run, you know, in the top three and the top five and stuff like that. But we have not challenged for the lead and we haven't challenged for wins. So I feel like going to, to Kansas, we can maybe put a little bit more of a, you know, go big, go home, kind of set up under it, or uh, maybe not necessarily use it as a test session, but use it as, you know, something we wouldn't be able to do if we were points racing. We, we don't have to go to Kansas in a safe setup mode um, and point our way through there. So, I think that's a big advantage for the situation we're in this year. And what's your outlook for these next few rounds of the playoffs? Obviously, Phoenix closes out the season, but these next couple of rounds, you got Talladega, which I've already had a couple of people tell me, you know, <laughs> you'll know what to expect there. But there's so much, so many moving parts over these next couple of rounds, right? Yeah, obviously, um, Talladega is a huge wild card to have in the playoffs. But um, I look at that next round, you know, where I'm sitting at right now. It's kind of a, a must-win mentality. Um, I think when we go to Bristol, it'll be a, you know, hey, what, what do we need to do to win, not what do we need to do to point our way to Phoenix. So um, obviously you never know how things are going to go and play out, and you don't want to do anything silly or, or overly aggressive, but, but we'll, we won't be looking in the mirror. We'll be looking out the windshield. And lastly, you've won here before. What's your outlook for today? My outlook is really good. I mean, this is a, a short track that fits my driving style. We're, we got a brand new truck here that I'm extremely excited about. Um, we're taking a, a similar setup to, to the one me and Hensley won with a, a couple years ago. 
Uh, not to say that things don't change and, and people don't get better, but we've, we tweaked on that some with, with the benefit that we have with, with Chevrolet performance and you know being able to, to get on the simulator and, and stuff like that. We, we feel like we've we found some things to kind of help that. Um, we'll, we'll see, I could be totally wrong, but, but I have high expectations for tonight. Oh, Grant, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate the time. And good luck. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrontStretch.com for more great content.